the water cycle. Let's start with evaporation. Evaporation puts water vapor into the atmosphere. Sometimes contaminants can be evaporated as well, putting them into the air along with the water vapor. Transpiration from plants takes water from the soils and puts it into the atmosphere. Even ice and snow contribute to the water vapor in the atmosphere through sublimation. Water vapor forms clouds. Inside the clouds, condensation gathers on dust particles and salt crystals. Watch what happens inside a cloud. A cloud is made of water vapor, dust particles, salt crystals, and other particles. As the air cools, condensation forms on the particles in the air. As the water droplets become larger, they bump into each other, forming water drops. When the drops become large enough, it rains. Precipitation falls to the earth as rain, snow, sleet, or hail. With it come many of the other materials in the atmosphere. Most of the water from precipitation runs off into surface water, lakes, streams, and rivers. Some of the water vapor infiltrates the soil to contribute to the plant's transpiration, and some of it filters down to the water table to become groundwater. Groundwater recharges the lakes, rivers, streams, and the ocean. The cycle is continuous. And that's the water cycle.